Hi guys, I'm Rosalind Costanzo from the blog Style Forage and welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, it's actually my second YouTube video, but in what is probably the quintessential rookie YouTuber mistake, I filmed the entire thing in portrait mode yesterday instead of landscape mode. So here I am, crack number two. Um, I'm actually happy because it gives me a chance to practice saying um and like a lot less. So today I'm going to talk to you about building a capsule wardrobe for fall. What a capsule wardrobe is, is a pared down, edited mini wardrobe, usually built around a color scheme and usually built around a key piece or a couple of key pieces. And that's what I like to do. When I did this for myself in the spring, I built my entire wardrobe. I started with at least a couple of shoes that I found at Winners and it's the same this year. I knew I wanted a pair of white booties for fall and I stumbled upon a pair, a Vince pair at Winners one day for like 75% off the retail price and I snapped them up and those became the base of my fall wardrobe. Here are my Vince booties from Winners that I based my fall wardrobe around love them so why build a capsule wardrobe when i did this for myself in the spring it was the first time ever despite having so many clothes that i wasn't standing in front of my closet every time i got dressed or every time i had an event to go to wondering what to wear it was simple not only because i had fewer pieces but because the pieces that i purchased i purchased with intention and they all went together. The number two reason I like having a capsule wardrobe is because you're buying less. So not only that's twofold, it made me feel better about um, it participating in fast fashion. I wasn't buying as much and participating in consumerism at the rate that I usually do. And also it was easier on my budget where you have a new house where parents or other things I want to spend my money on and the third reason I like having a capsule wardrobe is that because it allows me to breathe new life into a lot of pieces in my closet that I wasn't wearing one thing like a pair of white booties this year has allowed me to bring a lot of old pieces back to life and reimagine ways to wear them and I think you know the background as a stylist and just loving fashion that's more fun than just going and buying a bunch of stuff off the rack is like mining my closet for things and you know reimagining ways that I can wear old pieces so that's the third reason I like a capsule wardrobe anyway without further ado just let me show you what's on my wardrobe rack for fall 2018 everything on the left are items that I previously own and then the right just this tiny bit at the end here are items that I've purchased for fall and the shoes, three out of the four pairs are shoes that I already own. And then there's the white booties that form the base of my fall wardrobe. So just going through what is on my rack for fall 2018. I have this yellowy goldish coat that I've, that I've previously owned. I have my leather jacket. And I'm a firm believer that Canadian girls especially can never have too many coats. And then you'll see my rack is generally dark colored. So white booties were really big for spring too. And the way to make them work for fall, in my opinion, is to offset them with a darker color palette. So that's why my color palette tends toward um, the darker side. I have a lot of black. So also, it's kind of hard to see, but I have this little knit lace trim cami from Zara. And then this is part of the reason, this is why I love doing a capsule wardrobe. I've had this chambray jumpsuit. I purchased it at Gap years ago and I wasn't really wearing it much, but then with the addition of my white booties this year, it breathes a completely new life into my jumpsuit. And I plan on wearing it a ton. It's a one piece outfit. I love outfits like that. Here's a little printed dress I purchased at H&M on the sale rack for like something like $8 I think last year. I love prints um, in a wardrobe, they're important. They tend to punctuate, they punctuate what tends to be a sea of solid colors in most people's wardrobe. I did actually. And then again, this dress is from H&M, a little slip dress. I don't know if you can see the detail along the side, but it kind of has this panel sewn up the side, which is why I liked it in the first place, and a rounded hem. And again, um, 
the white booties just totally makes this outfit more interesting. I have a little scallop edge sweater. Um, I like sweaters that kind of have a wide cut. For someone like me that I don't really have a defined waist, I like sweaters that are wide and I'll wear them over like a high-waisted bottom and it just kind of gives me gives the illusion of having a smaller waist than I do. I'm not I'm I'm happy with my body. I'm not saying that. I'm just um, saying like I don't actually the shape of my body is pretty square um, and then here if you've been following me for a while you know I love Levi's wedgie jeans I've purchased a whole bunch I love that they're high-waisted they totally suck you in in all the right places and they define your waist again um, this pair I purchased Levi's wedgies everywhere for like 200 plus on shop bop and then for 110 at Aritzia and then I lucked out and found this pair a medium blue wash at um, winners actually for $29.99 so that was a major score again a wardrobe staple for any time of year is a white a flowy white t-shirt I have this oversized white shirt and those are the things I already own and now we're moving on to the things I purchased for fall so the first thing is this red leopard print blouse and matching skirt from Zara and when I saw it on the Zara website at first I thought actually thought it was a dress but I'm even happier that it's two pieces because you can obviously break it into separates and wear will make a ton of different outfits so I'll wear that top with jeans I'll wear the skirt with like my white shirt tucked in second piece is this um, dress from forever 21 actually I love it because it's a dark floral, um, the black base looks great with the white booties, and it capitalizes on that, the boho trend, which is really huge for fall 2018. Then I have this leather shirt from Zara. And then this is probably my favorite item I purchased for fall, a teddy coat. I love the little ring pull on the zipper. It's very like 1960s, 1970s, which is also a huge trend for fall. And I got it in brown because I did have so much black in the rest of my wardrobe. Um, I thought it would lighten things up a bit. And it's just at a great price point. It's $99 from Zara. It doesn't, it looks so much better on. This collar actually really frames your face. So I love that. And then down at the bottom here, I have my flat snake booties that I just, I wear all the time. I throw, I throw them on with everything. I have a pair of black pumps. Black pumps are another staple every woman should have in their wardrobe. I prefer suede. I have these Kendall and Kylie point toe booties. I need a little buff, actually. And then, of course, my new white booties. So, again, shoes that I already own. And then, of course, you can't forget about the third pieces. So, I don't know if you know about the rule of the third piece, but the idea behind the third piece is that anyone can put together pants and a top. That is how most people dress. But pro odds are that people who you see on the street whose outfit you really like or people who you see online or celebrities who are always kind of lauded for their personal style, they usually add a third piece. So the third piece could be this um, studded belt, belted over a floral dress or just adding this belt to the top of your jeans when you're wearing jeans and a blouse or a little crossbody, printed crossbody bag, or even a hat. Um, third piece is what turns your outfit from a pants, a pair of pants and a shirt into a bona fide outfit. So I'm gonna do some try-ons for you and show you just how many outfits I can get out of this um, edited capsule wardrobe. And then of course, I am currently wearing a couple other pieces from my capsule wardrobe, really just a pair of black high-waisted Levi's jeans as well so and a black t-shirt so here is that all black basic outfit I was wearing before with my the addition of my leather jacket and of course my white booties and this is kind of like a quintessential look for me something that I would wear something that I wear a lot and when it gets colder or I would probably add in this faux fur scarf or I have a couple of faux fur pieces, a faux fur collar. Funnily enough, this is actually one of my most complimented 
articles of clothing and I got it for two dollars on the sale rack at Joe Fresh years ago. Third, this is a great third piece. You don't have to spend a lot of money on accessories and stuff in order for them to work really well in your wardrobe. So here's that boho looking dress from Forever 21. I actually wore this to Thanksgiving yesterday. I like the that it's like loose and flowy and comfortable and I think it's a good kind of everyday dress. And I'm particularly, I like this dress because I really like how it looks layered under. My teddy coat from Zara. So here is the top and skirt from Zara. I really love the way it looks together. I love the way it looks with the white boots. Again, a uh, darker color on top to make white booties work for fall. And I'm particularly looking forward to layering it with this gold coat that I already own to leverage the color blocking trend, which is huge for fall 2018. So here I've swapped the skirt out for my favorite Levi's high-waisted jeans I, and a pair of pumps. I love the way black pumps look with like a simp, uh, raw edge, slightly cropped jeans. And I've added a third piece, this um, leather Club Monaco studded belt that I've had in my wardrobe for ages. And here I put on the little lace camisole with from my capsule wardrobe with my leather jacket, same jeans from the pre as in the previous look, my high-waisted Levi's, and then the white booties. And I should point out, I wouldn't wear these white booties with a white top. I feel like it looks way too matchy-matchy. I feel like you need dark to go with the white booties. And here is my sale floral dress from H&M, belted at the waist with this little this belt with gold hardware. I bought it at Zara a few years ago. And I love the way it looks with the white booties. I have already worn this outfit. I actually wore it to a little um, styling event I did here in Dundas uh, with some local women. And yeah, I just really like it. Okay, so here's that dress I was talking about earlier. The rounded hem that I really liked from H&M. I don't know if you can see the side panel any better here. Ooh, I have a bruise on my leg from taking a spill on my sister's steps yesterday at Thanksgiving. Anyway, I like, I was saying, it's kind of like shapeless, like my kind of dress actually, but for some reason I just didn't wear it that much. But I love the way it looks with the contrasted with the white booties and I'm definitely going to layer this over it. I feel like the teddy coat just makes it a bit more casual, makes it a more interesting outfit. I love like, I love a slip dress with something a little more casual thrown over top. So here's that scalloped cropped sweater. Again, I'll wear this with jeans, but I put it here with a skirt that I got on the sale rack at Forever 21 years ago. Um, and again, and I love the way the all black looks with the white boots. Without the white boots, this outfit would be pretty boring. Um, but again, I wear this out with my girlfriends, out for drinks. <laughs> Those drinks, I'm a real partier. Um, and yeah, I just really like the way the white boots again breathe new life into it, make it more interesting. And finally, here's that chambray one piece jumpsuit I was talking about from Gap. I have it rolled up, the white boots. Um, I like how this is just pretty easy outfit. Love one piece outfits. Um, probably if I was going out, I'd wear this with my leather jacket just for a little bit of visual interest or maybe a hat, but yeah, that's it for now. I haven't even exhausted all of my different looks from my capsule wardrobe, but for now you get an idea of how just the addition of something like a pair of white booties can totally change and a, and a few new pieces can totally change your wardrobe and make use of your existing pieces so happy capsuling until my next youtube video bye